wanted to be an astronaut. He said he loved seeing the way the sky faded to gray and how the stars, one by one, came waltzing into the moonlight. The three-part beat of their foxtrot conducting his pulse, two rhythms that weren't meant to be in sync, that his eyes danced to anyway, as he sank into the grass outside of his first floor apartment. Palms up, eyes open, toes pointed towards the sky, something in the stars pulled him harder than the force of gravity that should have held him down. But my father traded those stars in the sky, for the stars and the stripes of a country he was told meant Meigua. Meigua, beautiful country, America was supposed to be a beautiful country, but it was a misnomer. False advertising, just like the shooting star, that instead of being a luminous sphere of plasma floating from the sky, was a meteor of rocks, ice, and dust, colder, harder, and more piercing than the truth that maybe my father was lied to, or maybe he lied to himself, or maybe they were all just wrong. I think that they were all just wrong when they thought that the grass was greener, that the air was fresher, that the moon shined brighter 3,000 miles across the ocean. And instead of launching in a Sputnik into the great outer space, my father found himself trapped in the atmosphere, trapped in the economy section of his plane to America. Sorry, sir, but this is first class seating only. It was his first time on a plane, and he didn't know that he had to stay where his ticket said. He didn't know that legs could hurt from sitting still and doing nothing. He didn't know that this world was a game of connect the dots, and his English was too broken to bring those bright lights in the night sky into one perfect picture. And instead of constellations, constellations became his constellation prize. Always second place to the numbers that he put first, working nine to five in an eight by eight cubicle, seven years for two degrees, and all that added up to was a nine month severance package, as if nine months could bandage a wound by getting laid off drills into my father's prize. Mm -hmm. My father used to look up at the stars, but now he just looks down, down at the ground, down at his knockoff leather shoes from the Salvation Army, a little too tight because the person who wore them before him didn't have to patch up his socks. My father's feet marched step by step towards his next job interview, a march one beat short of that original celestial waltz, so deafening that it drowned out his own heartbeat. My father used to have daydreams, but now he only dreams during the night. During the night when there is no one there to tell him no, when he thinks that I'm sleeping. When he and I are under the same sky, but still somehow separated by light years of experience. But still, I look and still I hope that tonight he'll find his shooting star because I know my father still wants to be an astronaut.